The following advertisement is for Ramisa and Sons Welding and Fabricating Company. Check them out. Double M. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Chopping a sign and they read it like Angla me, Angla me, Angla bang. Oh. What a da 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 bang. Hey. Angla me, Angla me, Angla bang. Hey. Double M, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Chopping a sign and they read it like Angla me, Angla me, Angla bang. Oh. What a da 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 bang. Hey. Angla me, Angla me, Angla bang. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Have a little money in the pocket as I just got paid. Welcome to Chocolate and Chit Chat. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today I'm going to discuss feeding tubes and intermittent fasting. The reason for this topic is because I got an email from a subscriber who watched a video of mine with me mentioning that I do intermittent fasting and I can't swallow and, and that kind of thing. So she wants to know, do I have a tube? Did I ever have a tube? How do I do intermittent fasting and not properly swallowing? So let's start this conversation. So some years back, I had a medical problem, stayed in hospital about six months because they couldn't figure out what was really problem. And due to that situation, tubes was left in my throat, that is what, and when the tubes was removed, it, has, it had narrowed up that area so much that nothing couldn't pass. So that was just one of the issues as to why I cannot swallow food. All right, how do I do intermittent fasting on this with with this issue? So I eat like everybody else. I just don't swallow. I get all the nutrition from everything else, from everything that everybody else eats, but I just don't swallow. I just put out the hocks. So if I really want something in my stomach, I would drink a very rich cup of tea or a very rich cup of porridge. Well, we in the Caribbean will call porridge, what you would call oatmeal, we will call that porridge. I would just make it really rich because at the end of the day, that is what put going into my stomach. So at a point in time, I used to live on inshore and that was blowing me up real terrible. So I had to so I had to stop that because it was too much. It was, I was getting too much weight on inshore. And I just go with what works for me. And that is what works for me. Whatever I cook for my YouTube channel, I will eat all of it. I just don't swallow it. If there's any beans, I could swallow beans, but it must be very soft and I have to take small portions and drink a lot of water behind it to help it to go down or else it will just gara 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 and then it will start to choke. So to avoid it, what I would do, I would mash it or I would just make it really, really soft, very, very soft and consume that. So that is how I eat with this issue, not being able to swallow, intermittent fasting. So I just explain what I eat, how I eat. The times that I eat, 10 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the daytime. After that, nothing else till the next day, 10 o'clock a.m. So every time I am about to eat, I will drink a hot cup of coffee, no milk, no sugar. I like a really strong cup of coffee. So that is what I would have before I have my breakfast in the morning. Not before I have my lunch though because too much of coffee sometimes make my stomach feel a little too greasy. If I have it, if I have it too much in the day, 
or too strong so I can have it more than once for the day but it mustn't be strong right so that is how I do my intermittent fasting exercising I love to go and power walk I love running the most though but because of how I eat I can't overdo the running because I would get really dizzy and but I love to walk really really love to walk I love to exercise so I what I've noticed also with my body and this way that I eat if I if I exercise too regular I retain a lot of water and I feel very heavy so I used to do it like five to seven days a week I cut it off I would do it either on a Monday and a Friday two times a week or a Tuesday or a Wednesday and a Friday but no more than two days for the week now because I realize if I exercise too much, I retain a lot of water, so I don't. So again, I hope I answered your question. I don't want to make this video too long. And what I am having today is a chocolate peppermint tea. I made a rich cup of chocolate tea and I throw uh, two drops of peppermint in it. Now let us discuss this for a minute. So as I mentioned, I have I do intermittent fasting. So if I know I'm going to drink something really rich, I'll be very mindful of what it is I am having for my breakfast or for my lunch. So after I have my coffee, I would wait at least two hours before, after, sorry, I, I have my breakfast. So as I said, I'm, I have breakfast at 10. So I would do my best to have my cup of coffee between half past seven and eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm sure by 10 o'clock I could have my breakfast. So if I'm having a really rich cup of tea like this morning, I know I wanted to do this video. So I had this very rich cup of tea and I am going to cook some red beans or some kidney beans and that will be my breakfast. So for my lunch, I will also be mindful that I already had this very rich cup of tea for the morning. So I will be mindful at two o'clock when I'm going to have my lunch, what it is I'm having, but it must be full enough that will carry me through till the next day, 10 a.m. So you always have to be mindful, not because you're fasting for a longer period and you're eating, you're just going to stuff your stomach with your body with a lot of unhealthy stuff. That don't make sense because they defeat any purpose because then, then you will never see results. I was 378 pounds, right? I am 168, my gold is 165. And I have weighed for two months now, but I know that um, I have lost weight since because a lot of my pants are falling off. Actually, it doesn't even stay on my waist anymore. And because I have a lot of hips, it will just sit on my hips. So I know I am doing something right. So I hope I answered your question. She asked not for her name to be mentioned, but my feeding tube. Yes, I once once upon a time I did have a feeding tube, but let me tell you something. That tube was I just miss putting food in my mouth. I really, really miss putting food in my mouth. And I couldn't handle it. I decided to put it out for myself because I, I just couldn't handle it anymore. But yes, I did have a feeding tube. When I was in the hospital, they were to send me home with the feeding tube. I didn't want to go home with the feeding tube, but I did come home with a feeding tube. I took it out and then I had another. So I had, in two times I had a feeding tube, they put, they put it in. And the last one, I just pulled it out because I, I miss that taste of food. And it is very dangerous once you have a feeding tube, especially at nasal, to consume stuff. It is very dangerous. So the advice you not, once you have it, you don't eat anything. Don't put anything in your mouth. So that is what was annoying me the most. So what I used to do is put like ice, just to taste something in my mouth. Because everything going to YouTube. And when I was just fed up of it, I pull out YouTube and I never look back. And I just started doing what I do. And that is what sustains me. Um... I chew the food, spit it out. There are times where I have a lot of accidents and food may go down and I will bring it up, puke, puke, puke until everything comes out because it will just start to choke, 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 choke. I said a nice feeling. That choking feeling is really not a nice feeling. So I try not to allow anything to, to pass 
and as I mentioned, even things like Callaloo, I cannot consume a very thick Callaloo because what will happen, I will feel it will go down and then after a while I will just start to feel it gada 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 and then start to feel it choke. It doesn't give me that instant choke, it will just start to gather up, gather up and then I'll just start to choke. So to avoid situations like that, especially if I go out, to avoid any embarrassing situation, I would always have a pile of napkins too. Cause I don't want to feel like the odd one out and everybody else, you know. So what I would do is just have my pile of napkin, eat what everybody eating and just feel like I'm wiping my mouth and just remove whatever I have in my mouth and go on. But I would have to put something in my stomach so that would either be some beans or a very rich cup of tea or a very rich cup of porridge. So that is how I function on intermittent fasting having to swallow the way I could swallow and do I ever want to fix this esophagus? No, I don't. I am afraid of any more surgeries. So I choose to live with what I have. I am not having any more surgeries because I just don't want to. I was offered many occasions to have one and I choose not to have a surgery because I just, I'm just afraid of it. I don't know why. I just I just don't like the idea, so I will deliver what I have to. Losing weight, and this could be very difficult because of how you have to eat, but again, if you're intermittent fasting and you're counting your calories, then you shouldn't have a problem. For me, after losing that, that amount of weight, because as I said, I was 370, 78 pounds, I have a lot of sagging skin because I couldn't exercise when I started to lose the weight because again, I was in hospital when all of this started. And I couldn't walk so I had to learn to walk again so I couldn't do any type of exercise so therefore the odds was against me as to losing weight and losing weight where my skin would be looking decent so for instance I will just go and show you my arms for instance you can clearly see this you see the flaps you see this <laughs> So I have these things to deal with so this is what this is me and this is all what, what all what is gone right so as to my stomach area, it, it is flat. I don't have no issues, just a slight, you know, but my legs, as I mentioned, I have real broad hips. So my legs is the one place that get the worst hit from saggy, sagginess. Yes. And beside these little things that I have here that flapping all over the place. But do I, would I choose this over the size that I have? Of course, of course, nobody wants to be 375 pounds. That way just gradually came on after I had my daughter. She is so much 20, good on 22. But God is good. I am alive. I'm a well. I am healthier. I am at the healthiest. It's just I have a lot of skin that I just sometimes could really drive me up a wall because you don't look smooth in certain outfit because you have all this excessive skin just hanging around and just doing this whole thing but uh i have to look at what i have and intermittent fasting is a possibility where you have feeding tube again it all depends on what your dietitian or your nutritionist said you know would work for you so make sure and visit your nutritionist and let them put you on a diet but this is what i this is what i did and this is why i don't have a feeding tube i remove my feeding tubes i don't want them it is annoying see i didn't have it on my stomach i had it nasally so that was the issue i guess and do i want no i don't and there's not even an option to go and put in one else i know and um I work with what I have and I strongly suggest that if you are having issues with weight being on a feeding tube I really strongly suggest that you talk to your nutritionist and let them put you on to something but this is what I did and this is what I am doing I eat 10 in the morning and 2, two in the evening I have a cup of coffee, strong coffee, no milk, no sugar, and 
I am mindful of what I am having for breakfast. Like this morning, I'm having this really rich cup of chocolate tea. And for lunch, I am going to have some beans. No more milk for the day. Because I had my milk, I had my sugars for the day. So I'm not going to have any of that with my lunch. So I will just drink some water after I have my lunch. And that would be what I had for the day. Always be mindful and count your calories when you're intermittent fasting because you're defeating the purpose. And intermittent fasting must always be a, a last option for weight loss. A last option for weight loss. I cannot do salads and stuff because I can't swallow it. So I just do base and salads is very costly. So I cannot spend all that money on salads and I can't swallow it. I would just be wasting money. So it makes no sense. Smoothies. I do do a lot of smoothies, but um, most of them sometimes I use a lot of milk, so I kind of like cut back on the smoothies because the protein, I don't use the protein powders, I don't. I am mindful of how my metabolism works, so I have to be cautious of the things that I put in my stomach. Pure and simple, get to know your body and you will, you will see results. You will see results. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I answered all your questions. And again, welcome to Chocolate and Chit Chat. Have an awesome day today. Thanks for watching Chocolate and Chit Chat. Welcome, welcome to Chocolate and Chit Chat. Hi, yes. You're on Kendall's Corner. Welcome to the first episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Let's get chatting. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. 